Welcome everyone to the Toros Kids Club pregame kickoff spectacular. Here's your host, the best mascot in the NFL, Toro! Wait, 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 wait. I thought I was the host of the pregame kickoff spectacular. What? No, me! <laughs> Who are you laughing at? <laughs> oh yeah? You really think you can do this alone? Take it away, Toro. Yeah. That's what I thought. It's hard to host a talk show when you can't talk. I can help you out though. Welcome everyone. This is our first ever Toro's Kids Club pregame spectacular and we have a fantastic show lined up for everyone. Before every upcoming Texans home game, join us here as we preview the upcoming game and opponent. Today, it's Kids Day and the Texans are taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars at noon. Hey, you two, cut it out right now. Yeah. During today's show, we're gonna do a little history lesson and learn about our opposing team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. We will also be joined by Texans insider, Drew Doherty to talk X's and O's and Toro's what to look out for. And we have a surprise guest, so make sure to stick around. Now everyone, grab some snacks, get comfy, and let's go, Toro. The Jacksonville Jaguars are here in Houston for today's AFC South matchup, and we're going to see how much you know about our division rivals by playing a little game. We're going to play Two Truths and a Lie, the Jacksonville Jaguars edition. I'll give you three facts about the Jaguars, and you'll try to figure out which fact is actually a lie. So here we go. The first fact is the Jaguars were almost named the Sharks or the Stingrays, but after a fan vote, they decided on the Jaguars. Hmm. Second fact, the Jaguars' first ever game was a loss to the Houston Texans. Hmm. Third fact, the Texans have faced the Jaguars 36 times, and we have a record of 23 wins and 13 losses against them. Hmm. So Toro, which of them is a lie? Number two? Oh, I thought I was gonna get you. That's right, it was number two. The Jaguars' first ever loss was not to the Houston Texans, though the Jaguars' first loss was to a team in Houston. The Jaguars played their first season in 1995, seven years before the Texans began playing. The team they lost to was the Houston Oilers, who are now known as the Tennessee Titans. So now we know a little bit more about the Jacksonville Jaguars. Let's bring in a friend who can tell us what the Texans need to do to win today. Everyone give it up for Texans insider, Drew Doherty. How's it going, Drew? Hey, it's great. And golly, it's so good to see Toro again. Toro, I have missed being with you and seeing you in the building, giving you high fives, giving my, my brosive hugs to you. But, you know, we, we'll make do because you and I, we talk like this via, via Zoom. And I got to say, I kind of hog the conversation. I'm, I'm a bit of a gabber. You're such a great listener. That's one of the things I love about you. You're such a great listener. And you, you know, you, you kind of let me unload and, and share my thoughts with you. And I just got to say this. I'm feeling kind of less than because you are dressed amazing, my friend. I love that jacket. I'm only wearing like a tie. I don't have a coat on. You got a bow tie. You're shining. You're sparkling. You're doing it upright. I love this outfit for you, man. You, you have done an outstanding job. Next time, if I ever get to do this again, if you guys have me back, I'm going to wear a bow tie. Cool? Does that work for you? Okay. Okay. Well, hey, it's Kids Day on Sunday. Texans taking on the Jaguars. You and I talk a lot of football. I mean, I kind of talk most of the football, but we share our thoughts about what we're seeing on the field, what we want the Texans to do. 
you know, what do you got your eyes on in this game? What sort of X's and O's stuff? What sort of interesting thoughts and, and ideas are you watching against the Jags when the Texans take the field at noon inside NRG Stadium? What's the first thing? Huh? Oh, Coach Cornell. That's a good one. It's the first game as interim head coach for Romeo Cornell. We love Romeo for many, many reasons. He's a great guy. He's a great coach, and everybody in the locker room really respects him. And, you know, he would like that jacket because he's got a lot of similarities with that jacket. You know what he has? He has one, two, three, four, five Super Bowl rings. So he's got a lot of bling on his hand. You've got a lot of bling there on your coat. But he won three Super Bowl rings when he was an assistant coach with the uh, New England Patriots back about 15, 20 years ago. And then about 30 years ago, before that, he won two more as an assistant coach with the New York Giants. Romeo has seen a lot of good things. He's already said this week he's going to open things up. He's going to kind of make things a little bit easier, a little bit simpler for the, the Texans. And I think they're going to really respond and do great things. You think they're going to do pretty much some good things? Yeah, I can't wait. So we got Romeo. That's number one. What's number two? What else are you keeping your eyes on, Toro? Yeah. Hey, how can you not watch Deshaun Watson? I mean, he does have the ball, you know, when the Texans are on offense. But this guy is a magician, and it's going to be interesting, Toro. Tim Kelly is his coach on offense, his offensive coordinator. And they're cooking up, you know, they're stirring up some new things. They're cooking up some new ideas on offense. And I think you're going to see things go a little bit differently than you have through the first four games. It's going to be fun. Hey, and we've seen Deshaun do really good things against this Jaguars team. He started against Jacksonville four times, Toro. Uh, how many wins do you think he has in those four starts? You count on that paw. Does your paw have did four times? That's right, my friend. He's a perfect 4-0 when he starts against him. I love it when you slap your knee, by the way. It just makes me laugh so much. But last time he beat him, they were over in London Town, England, across the pond. And I was lucky enough to go to that game. You were lucky enough to be there. That was a fun trip. But He's got four touchdowns passing when he's played the Jaguars in his career. He's also run for two more, and he completes about 63% of his passes. Deshaun plays splendidly against the Jaguars. I think it's going to continue on Sunday. Sound good to you? You cool with that? You're giving me the thumbs up and the, uh, the OK sign, so I think I'm cool with that. OK, those are two things. What's your third and final thing you want to keep those eyes on on Sunday against the Jags? J.J. Watt. How could you not, my friend? Number 99, you like stats, right? You and I talk, well, I kind of tell you stats and you kind of nod and tell me some other things and, and do all that other stuff. But number 99 has played against the Jaguars 14 times as a Houston Texan. He's got 16 sacks in 14 games. That's better than one sack a game if, if I'm counting on my fingers and toes. I mean, he has been awesome in his career. He's also got 19 tackles for a loss and thump 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 10 times he's batted down a pass when the jaguars have thrown it i like that thumping sound don't you you like thumps i like thumps let's see the texans thump the jaguars you cool with that you you all right with that okay well man i really appreciate you having me on i always love seeing you and being with you and this is pretty cool those are the three things to watch when the texans take on the jaguars and i think you're looking at a texans win toro Thanks, Drew. Now, earlier, I told you we had a little surprise. So joining us next from the Houston Texans cheerleaders is HTC Amber. How's it going, Amber? Hey, Toro. Happy game day. This is going to be a big one for you. The annual Kids Day presented by Texans Children's Hospital celebrates the youngest of our Texans fans. Now, I heard a rumor that you invited a couple of your friends to come to the game. I heard that whoever you're bringing out is adorable, lovable, and unforgettable. Toro, is it true that Inflatable is going to be at the game today? That's incredible. But you also invited today's home field advantage captain, Rainy Rodriguez, to the game. You may recognize Rainy from shows like Austin and Allie or her current show, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. She is a huge Texas fan, and we cannot wait to welcome her back to the NRG Stadium. Also, I heard from a source that you're in charge of today's halftime show. What does Ken 
Wendy has to do with halftime. Well, I cannot wait to see what you have planned. Make sure to check out Game Day Central to see all the content from Texas Game Day at HoustonTexas.com forward slash game day. There are two ways you can join us at the NRG Stadium. You can buy tickets at Ticketmaster.com forward slash Texans and you can purchase a fan cutout to help us cheer on the team virtually by going to HoustonTexas.com. It's time for me to get going. I'll see you in a little bit, Toro. Bye. Bye, Amber. All right, Toro, we're a couple hours till kickoff. And thank you, everyone, for joining us for the first ever Toro's Kids Club pregame kickoff spectacular. Now it's time for the Houston Texans versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Make sure to tune in at noon on CBS or listen on Sports Radio 610 or Mega 101 in Spanish. Today's game is going to be a good one. Till next time, go Texans!